Uh oh. Box is gone. Somebody did good this week. Well, yeah, we sold a box. Good. Good. Never hurts to uh, move two boxes, huh? No, it didn't hurt my feelings none. I was pretty <laughs> excited about it. Um, which, uh, as you can see, we got a, a shotgun and a sign asking me how to win. So, mm -hmm. um, one of the ways to win the shotgun was if you bought a toolbox, you got the shotgun. If you were legally able to own one, I mean, there's a long list of stuff that you have to do to follow regulations and everything. So, he's actually of age and he can actually own one. So, uh, I'm going to meet him at a gun store and he's actually going to get uh, that shotgun. And we got another one we're doing. Um, we had a couple different ways. Uh, we had if you doubled your payment, you get an entry. If you make a hundred dollar payment on your truck account, you got ten entries. So there's going to be two shotguns given away unless that toolbox goes two. Uh, and if it goes, there'll be three. So, cool. but cool. he's going to be the proud owner of that one um, tomorrow. We're going to meet at a gun store and transfer it over and everything. So uh, he was yeah. he was already going to buy the box. Mm -hmm. You know, I know somebody will say, well, they could have just bought the gun cheaper. Well. We know that he was already going to buy the box, so he's just happy he's getting something thrown in. So, yeah. but it never hurts, and that's another reason why we do uh, truck account payments too, because some people already have a toolbox; they don't need a toolbox. Mm -hmm. um, so, for them to be able to win it for free, if they just pay on their tool bill, you know, double their payment or pay a hundred dollars on it, they get entered and they still not buying the shotgun; they're still just paying their bill down. So, therefore, they get a free shotgun. So, yeah. Uh, that's cool that one's been pretty popular everybody's liked it so we'll see we, we're running it to august the 20th so we've done had probably what do you say 15 20 people pay either double or pay 100 on their truck account to try to get entered so that's awesome which we threw in a couple different ways we uh, also allowed if somebody didn't have a truck account if they started one with a balance over a hundred dollars they got entered and then if those three ways didn't work, well, if you could, or four ways, I guess I should say, if, if those didn't work, if somebody in the shop didn't have a truck account and they were able to refer them to us and, and they start one, well, then they got a ticket and then you got a ticket. So that's good. Several different ways to get entered, um, but we do have to follow the legal way of doing it. So that's cool. Well, I figured the. Uh Thirty-five dollar toolbox and all the tools on the sole. Well, he did. He did that offer, but he did it on the red one. Like he said, if he if he could, if he could only do the deal on that one, he would do that one. But he liked the red better, so we were able to. I mean, we just we tried to work with him as much as possible. So, and he actually didn't need some of that stuff. He already he bought the camouflage air hammer, so he didn't need it. Mm -hmm. uh, and he had already bought pry bars, so he didn't need it. So what we did is we let him just pick what he wanted and we did the same deal. And I think he actually come out at 32 because of what he wanted and what he needed. Right. It didn't That's cost good. as much as that kit and some other stuff. So he got what he wanted and needed and uh, was able to get for 32. So. I know there's a lot of people talking about, oh, what is that payment for life payment for life i'm like dude it depends on your credit like, yeah you know, it, four years, it, well five years and that's the key every time we talk about one of these deals there's always that person that's like you know oh that's too low of a payment to take you know 10 years it, it really depends on your credit mm -hmm. and it really depends on how much you pay that is a minimum payment like that's not a pay if you come to me with a thousand dollars and say here you go this is my payment i'm not gonna say nope gotta take 35 right you know and our interest does it, it's our interest works in a different way so it's not like if you buy it today and, and hit the lottery tomorrow, you can't pay it off without interest, right? Mm -hmm. um, but so what I, he's usually a two to $300 a week payment on a truck account. Uh, I wouldn't doubt a bit in the world if 150 to 200 don't go straight to the box every week and then he finds something else. He really likes tools, so he's liable to find something else and have a hundred dollar truck payment. So there you go. Uh, he's not. He he didn't do it for the payment, and most of the people that buy that for the payment, they their credit's not that good, so they're just they've got to have a box. They need something, and that's a way to build their credit back up. So um, it's same way with a car or anything else. If your credit's bad, you're gonna have higher interest. Mm -hmm. If your credit's really good. You're probably not going to be paying $35 a week. You're probably going to pay more because you 
good at keeping your credit good and everything else. So, but yeah, um, we got a new new tool this week. It's that well a new tool. Uh, I guess a tool for your phone. It's a wireless uh, dual smart charging pad. So okay, it can actually. We've got some lights coming out that uh, they they're called Maco Pro Charge lights. With those, you can either screw this to the wall or, or lay it down, either way you want to do it. With those, you can lay the light there and it'll charge the light, um, the certain ones that they're coming out with. But also, you can pull this up and your phone will slide down in there. You can, If you're laying like this, you can just lay your phone on it. But if it's hanging on the wall, it's right. got two screws. This actually pulls out, and when it pulls out, you're actually able to slide your phone down in there. That way, it can still charge on the wall. So you can charge your phone or your um, light, and it does have magnets on the back, so That's it can cool. go on your toolbox or whatever. So um, the problem I have with my phone when I was a technician all the time is I bent down and over so much that if I had a lock screen on my phone, uh, it kept trying to call 911. I called 911 like four times in a day. And they, you know, they never called me back. Uh, this is when I was working at Chief They never called me back. They never came out there. I guess they knew that it, what was happening, but didn't care. I don't know. But the only way that I knew it is because when I got my phone, uh, I went to call somebody and it had emergency number, emergency number. And I'm like, what is, what is this? And I got to looking and I had called 911 four times. So I was, I was like, whoops. Um, but Luckily, they didn't say nothing. Um, but yeah, that just pulls out, so you can slide your phone. You can slide it this way or a long way. Um, sit it down in there. Uh, all phones are different, so some's longer than the other, or some's wider. So if, if your phone won't lay down, you stand it up. Either way, it'll charge. But if you put your phone in there, it's constantly on charge. Usually, you're close to your toolbox, so you can hear yeah. it ring. Um, That's cool I right think, there. Yeah, I think all the newer ones are come all the newer phones are able to wireless charge because you know the cars mm -hmm. are coming out with it where you can sit it on the console and stuff so it's it's a pretty neat idea um if i was still a tech i'd probably have it um i wouldn't have nowhere to screw it but i could make put the yeah i could put it on the side of my toolbox and then i wouldn't have to worry about calling 911 when i didn't need to <laughs> there you go uh let me get that part number because that's a pretty cool little rig right there yeah, somebody will need that. That's short. Yeah, well, and if I didn't, if I didn't have my lock screen on, which I couldn't, because obviously I was calling everybody, uh, then I was getting on. I was having so many apps and everything else running. My battery would run down super quick because there was no telling what was clicked on and everything else. So I got to where I was just laying it on top of my box anyway. So, which some people can wear the carriers on the side i yeah, never I don't could like them. i can't even do it like some people still use the stream light comes with a little holder mm -hmm. i can't do that I don't either. Like it either i just stick it in my pocket and uh even when i sell like my leathermans or something like that some of people's like do you people actually wear this on the side i'm like well the older generation i don't it was my pocket mm -hmm. but either way i guess i always put my phone in my back pocket I and mean, yeah. you know i just got that new iphone 12 with about three months ago, the back's broke, the glass is broke. Well, see, I, that's where my phone is now, in my back pocket. And we were having problems with our air conditioner a couple of weeks ago, and I I hopped up here and was working on it and didn't think nothing about it. And somebody called me, I answered the phone, talked to them, looked down after the phone call to hang up, and the cracked. screen was cracked. And I was like, oh, crap. So we go to... Um, the phone store there's a repair center we go there to get it looked at and when i take it out of the case i realized that the back's cracked too so mm -hmm. luckily i had insurance on my phone and was able to get it replaced so but yeah i break mine all the time like i don't even i just whatever it's just gonna have a crack in it there's nothing i can do to fix it so well hers had actually we didn't even know we had insurance hers had had a crack for over a year if not two and when I went up there, it was going to be 400 and something dollars to fix it. And I was like, nope, I'll just live with a crack. You know, it, it was bad enough to bother me, but nope, I'm, I'm good. And the lady actually said, she's like, well, you know, with it being this new of a phone, you probably have insurance. I was like, oh, I don't know that. Because normally when somebody tries to upsell me on something, it's automatic. Nah, I'm good. Mm -hmm. Well, 
just luckily I had it and I think they charged me like $125 to replace it so I went ahead and got hers replaced too brought it to me the same day drove all the way cool. from Memphis met me at my house it was pretty good but that's good can't beat that that's right well when y'all expecting the lights to come in with those I think I've already seen one um, I'm sure they're within the next couple of weeks we'll start having the lights I know I've seen one but I I don't know if I've sold it or what I did with it let me look back here and see if I have it I don't know if I do or not I've got so many different style lights back here yep right there so it's like a puck style light yeah thing. well and I'm sure that they're gonna have uh, I'm sure they're gonna have several different styles uh, so I'm kind of curious to see how many different lots they come out with. I can't get it out of the box. There we go. Now this one looks like it's 720 lumens. Wow. Um, and it's got a 250 lumen spotlight. So it's just a little bitty, you know, bright light, dimmable. So I like that the fact that it's. 720 lumens and this small mm -hmm. because even though it does have a magnet i mean it has a magnet but you can also you can also lay it you know in the floorboard mm -hmm. or wherever you need so i like it wireless charging it's it's easier to set it on that pad than it is to plug it up well since i've got wireless charging lights i don't ever have dead lights anymore yeah well, not only that, but the main thing that goes wrong with anything that you plug the charger into. The USB plug. The plug's going to go bad. Uh, the spot that you go into is going to go bad. Eventually, mm -hmm. the light itself is going to work fine because they make them so durable and rugged and everything else. It's going to work fine, but the, the charge port's going to go bad. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's Or same. like if it's those micro USBs, you're going to have sweat in your eyes or, yep. you know, just can't see because it's dark and push it in there and it's gonna be the wrong way. It's gonna push the whole plug up inside the light. Yeah, well, and something that used to drive me crazy, and I don't know if a lot of people do this or if it's just the people I work with, I know my daughter's bad about it. Instead of taking, you know, one hand and grabbing the charger, one hand taking the device, and it's just a jerk motion, mm -hmm. and that drives me crazy. So yeah. that eliminates that. But that used to be the same way <laughs> when, when I worked up there. If anything, any light or anything plugged in, it was more of a jerk yep. and not a grab at the end of it. Mm -hmm. And, you know, my daughter's two, so I can forgive her. But, hey, well, she's, you know, hey, four. I was five. thinking about my son. <laughs> she's going to be five. I was thinking about my son. My son does it too, but, he, you know, it is what it is. Yeah, we, we've got two birthdays this weekend, and... We got one in September, so she'll she'll turn five in September, and then my oldest is turning eleven, and then my middle child that I just said was two is turning five in September. Well, I knew she was playing t ball. I'm like, well, that kid's gotta be older. Too. I was thinking about, <laughs> yeah, I was thinking about my son. It's been a long week, but oh uh, man, <clears throat> well, that's back when she was sweet, and I could forgive her for a whole lot more. She's getting to that age now where she's got meanness, so I'm trying to remember her back at two. Mm -mm -mm. But, yeah. All right, guys. Well, I guess we're going to turn this thing off and get in here. We've been waiting on some parts, and they come in yesterday evening about closing time, so it's a good thing. All right, guys. Like always, if you like the video, hit that thumbs up. Check over here for merchandise, cool tools, and discount codes down here if you're not subscribed. Take your finger, click that button. Y'all have a great weekend. See ya.